Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Zenzi consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Welcome to Wax Wars. It's been two weeks. We've had another two week wax war with five bars. So Wax Wars is a series where I compare similar scents and you guys vote at the end of the video on what you want me to compare next time. So last time we had had, what was it? The, the melons and the pineapples and the pineapples won by a landslide. So we did the pineapple wax war. So we have five bars here, all are very pineapple forward. I try to choose bars that don't just have pineapple, but are like main scent pineapple. So here we are. And so I'll kind of just go through the cold scent notes first, cold reviews, what Sensi says they smell like, and then I'll go through the breakdown of how they actually performed and what, how things did. So the first one we have here is pineapple sorbet. This is not currently available. This was in the flash sale back in March. Sensi says it's sweet and tart, like a refreshing scoop of pineapple sorbet. I did this one in my office, and I did two cubes of all of these in element warmers 24 hours a day. So they were all warmed the same amount, the same way. So to me, this one is very, it smells like a Dole Whip. Like I've never had a Dole Whip, but it smells like what I imagine a Dole Whip would smell like. It's like a creamy pineapple but still very juicy and a little bit tart. It's very pineapple-y, like very pineapple-y with just a bit of like frothy creaminess. It's really good. It kind of reminds me of the pineapple note from Coco or from uh, Pina Colada Cha Cha. So there's that one. Pineapple mango is currently available. This is a new scent this spring and summer. It is a bright blend of sweet pineapple and juicy mango softened by passion flower. So I did this one in our bedroom. And this one's really nice. This one, when I first smelled this and used this a few months ago, I didn't get any floral notes from this. But once I smell it next to the other pineapple scents, yes, I do get that passion flower scent. It's like a like tropical floral note. It's not super floral. It's not an aggressive floral. It's a slightly tart tropical floral. Um, overall, this is very like pineapple mango with like a bit of a perfuminess from that floral. So there is that one. Then we have Pastelitos. This one also is not currently available. This was also in the flash sale back in March. So this one, Sensi says, stop for a treat on the way to somewhere magical with luscious pineapple, lime, and a splash of dark rum. Now this one sounded a lot to me like Pina Colada Cha Cha because Pina Colada Cha Cha has very similar notes, except instead of lime, it has coconut. So on cold, this one I enjoy. This one is like a creamy, I do get pineapple, I do get rum, and like maybe a little bit of lime, but it's very smooth. Like it's a very smooth, it's like a smooth cocktail. It's really, really nice. Tropical drink, beach vacation. Pina Colada Cha Cha. This is currently available. It's a general catalog summer scent and it is one of my absolute favorite summer scents, honestly. So Sensi says it's island coconut and zesty pineapple lead and white rum and vanilla bean follow. So coconut, pineapple, white rum and vanilla. This one is so good. So this one is, it has a little bit of coconut to it as well, but I would say it's mostly pineapple. It's kind of a balance of coconut and pineapple. There is that rum note and like some like sweet vanilla. It's sweet. It's a little bit boozy. It's a lot of fun. This is a really fun like Friday afternoon melt in the summertime. Love that one. And then we have pineapple pucker, also general catalog for summer, also still available. This one is fresh pineapple steals the show in this eye-opening tropical production. So just fresh pineapple. And yeah, it's sweet a little bit candy-ish. It's like a, it kind of smells like dried pineapple. Not in that it smells dried, but in that it smells concentrated. You know how, like when you have something dried, the sweetness is, and the sugars are all kind of like condensed because it's now dried and not juicy. It kind of reminds me of that, but this isn't, I don't know. It's just sweet, like very sweet. Like maybe a candied pineapple or pineapple candy really good. Like it a lot. 
So in general, I'm a big fan of pineapple scents. I just really like pineapple as a food, as a smell. I like pineapple. Um, so how we did this was I did three one week and two this week. So pineapple pucker went into my daughter's room, pina colada cha cha went into her room as well the second week. Pastelitos went into the office. Uh, pineapple sorbet also went in the office another time. And pineapple mango went in our bedroom. So that was what we did. And now we will kind of just proceed to the check-ins. So first one is hour two. So two hour check-in. And I did start these at the same time. Like I did both of these wax wars on a Saturday, same start time so that we had equal check-ins, even though I was doing them on separate weeks. So kept notes, same hour. So two hours. Um, pineapple pucker is a medium. It sort of smells like dried pineapple or a pineapple candy, but not, it's sweet, but not overly sweet. Um, I would say it almost smells like bulk dried pineapple. Um, this would mix really well as well. Um, and yeah, medium strength at two hours. So that's pineapple pucker. Pineapple sorbet at two hours. This one was strong. It was throwing far. It was leaving the room. It was very good. This was a very high scent appeal scent for me. It smells like a tropical drink I put. I put a, have almost a boozy note from this. And I was getting vanilla as well. Very sweet and almost frothy smelling. So this one, I actually had to double check. I was like, am I warming um, pastelitos? Cause that's supposed to smell like a drink. Um, but no, it was this. So this one is lovely and more than just pineapple sorbet. It's like got a lot going on. Very strong at two hours, lot going on, very nicely done. Pineapple mango at two hours. I put it has an acidity that pineapple pucker and, pine and uh, pineapple sorbet don't have. Um, I didn't notice the floral before, but compared to the other pineapple scents, I do smell a floral note here. It is nicely balanced though, between the pineapple and mango with just a little bit of floral. Um, a tiny bit reminiscent of nail polish remover on warm, but that's only when I compare it to the sweetness of these other scents. So I was getting like a distinctly nail polish remover smell. And I think it, yeah, I think it's the floral note. It's kind of a tart, like astringent floral a little bit. Um, not bad. Like it doesn't smell like nail polish remover, but it does have a, like a reminiscent smell of that. Only compared to like the super sweetness of those other two pineapple scents that I had going in different rooms. So then when you went by those rooms and then came to this one, it was kind of like, ooh, this one's got like some acidity going on. Um, and that's what that was. I didn't smell that when I have warmed this in previous times without any other pineapple scents going. So there was that at two hours. It was about a medium at that point, like light medium to medium. Pina Colada Cha Cha at two hours was medium, beautiful creamy and blended coconut and pineapple scent. Smells like a frothy frozen drink and I put it's perfect. There's that one. Again, no surprises there. I love that one. And then we have Pastelitos at two hours. I wrote down, um, Ew, what happened to this one? It smells like milky baby vomit with like sweet pineapple, medium to medium plus. This one turned like in a big way. Cause on cold, I really like this one. It's good. Although now that I'm, yeah, there's a creaminess here that doesn't translate well on warm. There's a creaminess here that mixed with lime and pineapple curdles a little bit and then smells like curdly, milky baby vomit. Um, so that one was kind of like, it was doing okay. Like it was medium to medium plus, it was good performer, but I actually like shut the door to that room cause it was like, ooh, every time I walked by, like, no. So overall two hours, everything's doing pretty well. At least performance wise, things are good. So at six hours, we have pineapple pucker. 
And this one is now medium strength. It's pineapple, not much to say. It's a pineapple scent. It no longer smells dried because in the beginning I had almost that kind of dried vibe from it. At six hours, it no longer smelled dried. It was just pineapple, just smelled like pineapple, which is exactly what Sensi says it's supposed to smell like. So that is pretty accurate. So at six hours, that was doing just fine. Pineapple sorbet at six hours. Um, I put strong, also strong throw. Again, this is wafting like crazy. And this one is yum. Um, reminds me a lot of Pina Colada Cha Cha. Has that vanilla boozy note to it that P Pina Colada Cha Cha has. This one was fantastic. Why this isn't in our catalog, I do not know. This is fantastic. Um, pineapple mango at six hours is about a medium. It is the least overtly pineapple-y of all of them. Um, the passion flower note is quite apparent. It's a tart tropical floral note, reminiscent of hibiscus maybe. If I had to guess, I would have said hibiscus, but it's actually passion flower. Um, not as sweet as the others. It, does, it doesn't have that same super sweet fruity pineapple-iness that the others do. So there's pineapple mango. Again, that's more, it's more of like almost, you could almost get away with this in body care. Whereas I don't know that you would want, well, I would. But I don't know that most people would want to wear like pineapple sorbet as body care or perfume. I would, but this one I think most people would. So <clears throat> then we have pina colada cha cha at six hours. It's a creamy pineapple coconut, no scent change, very nice, high scent appeal. It's pretty consistent. This one doesn't really change much on warm. It is what you smell, and it's it's lovely. Pastelitos. Six hours in. Every time I walk into this room, I'm saying, ew, there's something very stomach turning about this scent. Smells vaguely barfy. I think it'll be fine as a mixer. Plumeria peach comes to mind. So I do think that if you have a scent that has some sharpness to it, um, Plumeria peach is a very fruity, strong scent, but it does have some floral to it that I find a bit sharp. I think this would sweeten that up and smooth it out a bit. Um, I do think this has very good summer mixing potential, but on its own, I. I don't know what happened with this. Like, I don't know. I have like three or four bars of it because I really liked it on cold, but um, I'm going to be mixing them. Or I'll put them in my reject bin and see if anyone smells them and likes them better than I do. Um, so yeah. Then at 12 hours, we have our 12 hour check-in. Pineapple pucker, Amelia was asleep at 12 hours. Um, but I had checked, I had tucked her in just like an hour and a half before that. And it was light to light medium at that time. Noticeable, identifiable as pineapple, but not very strong anymore. So by like 10 hours, this was starting to taper pretty dramatically. So pineapple pucker was kind of losing steam at 12 hours for sure. Pineapple sorbet at 12 hours, solid medium, super yum, no scent change. It is plugging along just fine. It is not tapering off at all at 12 hours. Pineapple mango, I put no scent change. It's about the same scent as before, um, but it's light. You can't smell it unless you're already a few steps into the room and it's not lasting very long. Like I'm, I'm definitely noticing this one starting to kind of peter out. So 12 hours, this one is light, but still noticeable and still it's still going at 12 hours. Pastelitos at 12 hours. Again, I just put ew, still a solid medium though. Um, longevity is good on this one. It feels heavy and thick in the air. Still barfy. I was not enjoying this one. Um, it had like a heaviness that I think was the curdliness of it. I don't know. I don't know. If you've smelled this, let me know if you get that as well, because I hope it's not something that everyone gets and I hope it's just my nose being weird, but I, yeah. Twenty-four hour check-in. We're now a full day into the warm. Pineapple pucker. It's gone. It is gone. It was gone even by morning, when we went into my daughter's room to get her up. So she, yeah, this one was done at that point. So this one died somewhere, probably I would say in the middle of the night, which would make it like sixteen hours, fifteen hours. So not overly long lasting, but nice for a day. Um, decent strength at peak. So this one is now out of the race. That is pineapple pucker. Pineapple sorbet at 24 hours. This one is 
light but noticeable very nice no change to the scent it's still doing just fine at a light rate pineapple mango i put this one's very light almost entirely gone really there's a very light tart floral scent in the room but i can't smell pineapple or mango anymore it's not identifiable um, i will change this one probably right away here i put um so yeah i don't think i did change it right away i think i let it going left it going but this one at that point you couldn't really smell and you definitely couldn't smell fruit it was like there's something perfumey going in here very lightly but no idea what it is so that's generally when i would change this but i left it going just to see if i was nose blind or something um pina colada cha cha at 24 hours it was gone again it was gone by morning as well it lasted approximately 16 hours um, I went in there at like 14 hours because my daughter was up with a cold and I could just smell it at like 14 hours, like just barely. Um, so it was probably done at like 14 hours. So there's that one. So that one did not make it to the 24 hour check-in. When we checked in at 24 hours, it was done, but it was done before 24 hours. Pastelitos, 24 hours. There's a vague, sweet, sour milk smell in the air. Um, basically, it's gone, though. It's just kind of a vague sort of... It was like if someone threw up on the carpet and you tried to clean it up, but it had seeped through the carpet and you could still smell it in the air. That's sort of what it was smelling like in the room. Um, but you wouldn't be like, oh, there's a wax melt going in here. It was just kind of a what is that sort of thing. So this one was pretty much done at 24 hours which I was okay with, to be honest, because I was pretty clearly not happy with this one. So 24 hours, Pastelitos is out. 36 hours, so now we're a day and a half in. Pineapple mango, I still had in the warmers. If you remember, if you remember at 24 hours, it was sort of, there was like a slight florally something perfumous in the air, but not very strong at all. Um, at 36 hours, I put, it should have been called done at 24 hours. There's been nothing since then. I've not smelled anything since that 24 hour check-in. So this one was done at 24. Pineapple sorbet at 36 hours. It was very light. It was still the same scent at 36 hours, but it was kind of like barely there. You could smell it though. And it was pretty identifiable still. So like it was still going. So there it was. Then at 48 hours was the final check-in and the only horse left in the race at that point was pineapple sorbet um, and it was done. It ended somewhere between 36 and 48 hours so it had finished by that time. So you know some of our wax horse they drag on for like three and four days. This one didn't. This one was pretty well wrapped up by 24 to 36 hours um, which I did expect. Pineapple scents and those like very sweet fruit scents don't have a lot of notes to like carry them through for long durations. So I didn't expect any of these to be super long lasting and I was actually impressed by how long pineapple sorbet did last. So there was that. So that brings us to the wax awards. So longest lasting, if you're looking for a long lasting pineapple scent, pineapple sorbet was the longest lasting um, and it was very lovely. The rep, but it is discontinued. There's no way to get this one now. So that doesn't help you as a consumer. The rest of them were all about the same longevity. They all kind of petered out around that 24 hour mark. So if you don't have pineapple sorbet in your stash, any of the other ones are all about approximately the same. Like longevity wise, none of them are gonna be super stellar, but they are very nice for a day. Strength. So the strongest scent at peak, if you're looking for a strong scent, would be pineapple sorbet, again. Um, this one is discontinued, of course. The next strongest one was pastelitos, which I personally wasn't a fan of, but it was reasonably strong. And then, because those two are no longer available, the next best strength would be pina colada cha cha. It was a good solid medium, and I've done this in my open layout before, and it does fine there as well. So. The other two were about the same. Pineapple Pucker and Pineapple Mango were about the same in strength. They weren't they weren't light, but these two were the strongest, but you can't get them. 
get. The one you can get that would be the next most strong would be Pina Colada Cha Cha. Um, <clears throat> so throw. Throw is where it actually like moves and like wafts. Throw is like wafting. <laughs> yeah, so the one that had the notable scent throw, like where I was like, wow, there's a strong throw on this was Pineapple Sorbet. Um, there was a notably low throw from Pineapple Mango. So the other ones all kind of fell about average for throw. This one was notably high, Pineapple Sorbet. Pineapple Mango wasn't a weak scent, but it didn't have a very far throw. So like, even at its peak with that one, it most scents of that strength you can smell the second you walk into the room. That one, for whatever reason, just kind of hung close to the space it was warming in. So you had to walk a few steps in to really get a good sense of it. So notably low throw from Pineapple Mango. So, I mean, you can do it in an open layout, I have, but it is a lower throw than most other scents of that strength. Are any of these scents open layout worthy? I put down Pineapple Sorbet would be in my opinion. Um, Pina Colada Cha Cha is, but for like 12 hours or less. So it did okay in a smaller space for a bit longer. Um, I have done Pina Colada Cha Cha in my open layout quite a few times and it is like a 12 hour or less type scent in the open layout. And my open layout's not like high ceilings or like insanely large. So if you have open windows, vaulted ceilings, or like a very large space, um, you might not want to do Pina Colada Cha Cha in your open layout, but it does okay in like my average standard open layout. I put down, you could probably do any of the pineapple scents in an open layout for a day, um, but they may not be super strong. They're good for those very hot days when your windows are shut. So what I have noticed is that I really like pineapple scents, especially when it's like super hot outside. And if it's super hot, the windows aren't open. It just lets hot air in. So this is good for those days where you want to just close things up, shut your blinds, keep the sun out and just smell like you're on a vacation. So scent appeal. This is the most subjective. Of course, this is just my personal preference and it will vary nose to nose. Um, scent appeal for me go to Pina Colada Cha Cha and Pineapple Sorbet. Pina Colada Cha Cha, like I've said, is one of my favorite summer scents. Pineapple Sorbet would probably give it a run for its money if I could get more of it. Um, Pineapple Sorbet was excellent. And I hope we see that back at some point in the future because it is, it's so much better than it sounds. It sounds like it would be boring. It is such a good scent. And I wish they would bring it back. Like I would, mm, I'm close to saying I'd be willing to trade Pina Colada Cha Cha for it, but I don't know that I'm, I don't know about that, but close. So that's how much I like that one. That is the Wax Awards. So let me know if you've warmed any of these. Let us know your experiences below because it's always helpful on these kinds of videos, especially to see what other people's experiences with these scents are. So if you've warmed any of these, let us know your thoughts, how it did in your home, all those things, because that helps us have more opinions and more data to gather from because my house and my nose are just a sample size of one. So let us know below how you've found these scents if you've tried them. All right, so here's the part where we talk about voting options for next week. So after two consecutive two week wax wars where it's like been like five bars and big gaps in between, let's go back to a weekly wax war for a little while. And so I have two three bar voting options, which means there will be a wax war next Thursday. So voting is open from the time this gets posted on Thursday morning until Saturday morning at around noon Pacific time. So <clears throat> we have a couple options here and both of them utilize bars that I got from Melissa because we had been talking about wax war ideas and stuff and she had very kindly sent me some bars to fill out wax wars that I don't have all the bars that I would need for. So you can see my haul that she sent me a, a couple days ago. I uploaded that and that was so sweet of her. So I am going to utilize some of those bars for these wax war options. So one that I've been wanting to do for quite some time is Cherry Limeade and Cars Radiator Springs. And then somebody, a viewer also suggested doing Rainbow, Rainbow Sherbet with Cherry Limeade. And I think that's a really good idea because I smelled them side by side and yeah, they're similar enough. I think we could do a wax war. So your first option is Cars Radiator Springs. This is one of the licensed Disney bars that was available last summer. It's not currently available, but it is like lemon, cherry, and like sugar. It's like a sugary lemonade type scent, like cherry 
lemonade, very tart. Um, cherry limeade is a bring back my bar scent that we had last summer um, in bring back my bar. Not currently available also, but very tart, extremely strong cherry limeade. Then we have Rainbow Sherbet, which is currently available. This is a general catalog summer scent. And this one is, a, it is sharp and tart and heavy, but it also has a bit of a creaminess to it or a smoothness. And it's just all those fruits. Like you get orange, lime, cherry. You get all of those very sweet, but fruity, sharp, smoothed out scents. So this one I think is pretty close to cherry limeade but add some ice cream to it would be what I would be what I would say so that's option one so you can call these the um I don't know what we want to call these let's call them the reds for the sake of easiness the next wax for option is a less summery one but it's a very interesting one because these are popular bars that are very cozy and well loved by most so we have these ones and they are stargazing which was the july scent of the month last year july june or july i think it was july this one it's like white florals cotton blossoms and vanilla clouds i also get some patchouli in there it's a very deep cozy comfortable sweet cozy scent very lovely good performer then we have Fuzzy Blanket, which is quite similar to Minos to Stargazing. Oh no, did I lose crumbs? I rescued it, it's fine. This one's pretty similar. This one's maybe not as strong and also more like cottony soft. It's softer, I would say. So that is Fuzzy Blanket. It's like a softer, cottonier version of Stargazing to Minos. And again, this is not currently available. This was in a past collection and then it came back and bring back my bar at one point and there we are. Then we have Snuggle Up from the Catching Aziz collection. This was a scent that a lot of people really loved and still continue to love and we would like to see back one day, except bring back my bar voting never allows collection bars to be voting options and we would like to change that. <laughs> Pacific Sandalwood and Snuggle Up crew, rise up. So. Yeah, this one is, ooh, this one's so good. This one's like a very beautiful, like essential oil lavender. There is some cottoniness here and coziness, but this one's very like herbal and smooth. And I almost get like a marshmallow note in here. It's like a lavender marshmallow. There's actually a hand soap from Bath and Body Works from a few years back called Lavender Marshmallow. And this reminds me a little bit of that, but cleaner and like well cleaner like cleaner and more cottony beautiful so there are those three options so we have the we'll call them the sleepy bars or the red bars or the sleepy bars and the sherbet bars because we have limeade and sherbet and lemonade so the drinks the cold stuff or the snuggly ones whatever you want to say Red, cherry, lemonades, whatever you want to say, versus just the snuggly bars or the cozy bars or whatever you want to call these. I'll get the idea. It'll be fine. So that is the options for this week. So again, vote now until Saturday morning. And then once we reach that point, I will tally the votes and I'll get to warming, whatever wins. And I will see you guys next Thursday to let you know how they did. Hope you guys have a great weekend. We will talk to you later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.